Welcome to Electron Online. To get an appreciation for how daunting a task it is to put a GPS system up in space, let's take a look and see how many satellites it's taken so far to get that system working and operational on a continual basis also, because remember when you put a satellite in space, it's not a eternal thing. The satellites do break down after a while and you have to keep replenishing them. Notice that we have a number of blocks that we've gone through. These are development stages satellites. Starting out in 1978, we started putting what we call Block 1 satellites up in space for the purpose of providing GPS surface. There were 10 successful launches, one launch that failed, and at this moment there's none of those left operational. When GPS became fully operational, when they had 24 total satellites ready to go, it was a combination of Block 1 and Block 2 satellites and some of the Block 2As in order to keep the system going. But officially, once they no longer had to rely on Block 1 and they were able to rely completely on Block 2 satellites, that happened back in the late 1990s. Notice that the Block 2 satellites were launched in, from 1989 to 1990, adding an additional nine satellites, although none of those are operational anymore. On the Block 2A satellites that were launched between 1990 and 1997, there were a total of 19, which enabled them to combine those with the Block 2 and the Block 1 to form a full system back in the early 1990s. I believe back in 1993, they had a combination of 24 satellites between Block 1 and Block 2 that allowed them to be operational. There's only two of those left. Now, that is quite a feat because notice that the last one was launched in 1997, and with an expected life expectancy of about seven to eight years for a satellite, you can see with two still working, that is quite good. We have the Block 2R. Now, the Block 2R was an introduction back in 1997 to 2004 of 12 additional satellites that were successfully launched. Unfortunately, one uh, did not make it up there, but all 12 of them are still in service and they're now providing the new M code. M stands for military code, which gave them additional capability. Then we have what we call the modernized version of the Block 2R satellites, which were launched. An additional eight of those were launched back in 2005 through 2009. Out of those eight, seven are still operational, and those are called the modernized Block 2R satellites, which also introduced the L2C capability, which later on would be use, uh, useful in the coordination with the Galileo satellites. The Block 2F satellites, which started launching in 2010, so far 11 were launched as the date of the information that I got. All 11 are still operational. Those satellites introduced the L5 channel. The L5 channel is for civilian use channel to give them better civilian capability that they did not have in the L1 and L2 channels. Also introduced were better anti-jam and better security measures capable on those satellites to make them more robust. The Block 3A satellites, they haven't started launching yet. They'll start launching about 2017. Obviously, none of them are in, are in space yet, but it will you give them improved M code that was introduced with the Block 2 satellites. We have additional L1C, L1, L2C, and L5 capability for integration operability with the Galileo system. So you can see there's still advancements being made. And, of course, we have to keep putting satellites in there as the old ones stop function at some point. Notice there were 69 total successful launches with only two failures. That is also quite a feat, I must say. And of all those satellites that were launched, 32 are still operational, which is eight more than is necessary to keep the GPS system going. And launches are just still occurring on a regular basis. That's quite something. Imagine putting 69 satellites in space in order to have a continual operational GPS system that was started back in the 1980s. So that's it's an expensive operation. It takes a lot of technical know-how and technical skills from a lot of people to both build the receivers, build the satellites, and build all the algorithms and all the technology necessary to provide this kind of service. But as you can tell, it is now just an amazing system that's up there. And as we go on through these videos, we'll learn more about how these systems actually operate and how they work. That's how it's done.